Abdullah ibn Jahash an, was a cousin of the Prophet وسلم, and his sister Zainab bin Jahash was a wife of the Prophet وسلم, one of the Ummahat al He was the first to head a group of Muslims on an expedition and so was the first to be called Amir al Mu'mineen, commander of the believers. Abdullah ibn Jahash an, became a Muslim before the Prophet entered the house of Al Arqam, which became a meeting place, a school, and a place of refuge for the early Muslims. He was thus one of the first to accept Islam. When the Prophet gave permission for his companions to immigrate to Medina to avoid further persecution from the Quraysh, Abdullah ibn Jahash was the second to leave, preceded only by Abu Salama. Immigrating was not a new experience for Abdullah. He and some members of his immediate family migrated before to Abyssinia. This time, however, his migration was on a far bigger scale. His family and relatives, men, women, and children migrated with him. In fact, his whole clan had become Muslims and accompanied him. There was an air of desolation as they left Makkah. Their homes appeared sad and depressed as if no one had lived there before. No sound of conversation emanated from behind those silent walls. Abdullah's clan were not long gone when the alerted Quraysh leaders came out and made the rounds of districts in Makkah to find out which Muslims had left and who had remained. Among these leaders were Abu Jahal and Utbah ibn Rabi'ah. Utbah looked at the houses of the Banu Jahash through which the dusty winds were blowing. He banged on the doors and shouted, the houses of the Banu Jahash have become empty and are weeping for its occupants. Who were these people anyway? said Abu Jahl angrily. That houses should weep for them. He then laid claim to the house of Abdullah ibn Jahash. It was the most beautiful and expensive of the houses. He began to dispose freely of its texts as a king would share out his possessions. Later, when Abdullah ibn Jahash an heard what Abu Jahl had done to his house, he mentioned it to the Prophet وسلم, who said, Aren't you satisfied, O Abdullah, with what God has given you instead a house in paradise? Yes, Messenger of Allah, he replied and became at peace with himself and completely satisfied. The Prophet وسلم, commissioned eight of his companions to carry out the first military assignment in Islam. Among them were Abdullah ibn Jahash and Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqas In the Battle of Badr, Abdullah ibn Jahash fought with bravery. He was put to a great test, but a test to which his faith was equal. Then came the Battle of Uhud. There is an unforgettable story involving Abdullah ibn Jahash and his friend Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqas concerning an incident that took place during the Battle of Uhud. Let us leave Sa'ad to tell the story. During the battle, Abdullah came to me and said, Aren't you making a dua to God? Right? I just told you in the previous story that Sa'ad bin Abi Waqas anhu's duas were extremely accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, Yes, said Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala. Anhu. Now Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala is telling us the story. So we moved aside and I prayed. O oh Allah, when I meet the enemy, let me meet a man of enormous strength and fury. Then grant me victory over him, that I might kill him and acquire spoils from him. To this my prayer, Abdullah my friend said, Amin, and then he prayed, Let me meet a man of great standing and enormous fury. I shall fight him for your sake, O oh Allah, and he shall fight me. He shall take me and cut off my nose and ears when I meet you on the morrow, you will say. For what were your nose and ear cut off? And I would reply, For your sake and for the sake of your Prophet And then you would say, Ya Rabb, you have spoken the truth. Sa'ad continues the story. The prayer of Abdullah ibn Jahash who was better than mine. I saw him at the end of the day. He was martyred and mutilated and in fact his nose and his ear were hung on a tree with a thread. God responded to the prayer of Abdullah ibn Jahash anhu and blessed him with martyrdom as he blessed his uncle, the leader of martyrs, Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib. Anhu. 
the noble prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam buried them together in a single grave his pure tears watered the earth anointed with the fragrance of martyrdom